how to create an affordable e-commerce website with WordPress using Hostinga. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from Daytips.com helping serious entrepreneurs like you to boost sales to your products and services online using simple but super effective online marketing tips and tricks. If you are a serious entrepreneur, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification button as well so you never miss a tip that could help you to boost your online earnings. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on how you can create an e-commerce website using WordPress super efficiently using Hostinger. Now, this video is kindly sponsored by Hostinger and they are actually giving you a discount on your Hostinger package when you use Sam Day on the checkout. Now Hostinger has some really affordable prices and in order for you to start a WordPress website, you actually need a hosting provider. So as you can see, I'm actually on hostinger.com at the moment and they have different pricing plans. So they have their single plan, which most of you will probably need if you're just wanting to register one website. And at the moment, you can see that that price is 80 cents per month. They also have a premium plan at $2.15 and they have a business plan as well. Um, I recommend that you go through the different plans and see which one will best suit your business. Again, I will leave a link to Hostinger in the description down below um, and I will leave a link as well to their pricing so you can have a look and see which one fits the need that you are looking for specifically. But as you can see, their pricing uh, is, is very affordable affordable, uh, one of the cheapest on the market that I've seen and they are a really good brand as well. So I highly recommend checking them out. Um, and also again, if you use Sam Day on checkout, then you will get a discount even further on your purchase. So once you've chosen which um, hosting account you're going with and you've set up your hosting account, you your inside of your account will look something like this. Um, now, if you don't know how to set up your account or you're struggling with setting up your Hostinger account, um, I'll leave a link in the description down below to another video I done on basically how to install WordPress on your website. Um, but just as a quick demonstration here, um, once you've set up your Hostinger account, you wanna go to domains and actually connect your domain to Hostinger. Now, if you've already got a domain, then you can transfer your domain. So maybe you've bought your domain from namecheap.com or wix.com or some other place on the internet. And you're like, okay, cool. I've purchased my domain name now and I want Hostinger to host my website. You go to transfer domains. If you don't have a domain name yet, so you don't have a www.yourwebsite.com, you don't have that yet, then you can go to register your domain here and you can register your domain with Hostinger. And once you've got your domain registered or connected, you can then go to hosting and you can actually go to manage. So your domain that's connected will be here. As you can see, daytipsmembers.com is registered for me. And when you manage that, you can then go and install WordPress. I've already got WordPress installed on this particular account again, you know, if, you, if you're struggling with installing WordPress, I do have a video, again, that video is in the description down below, so make sure you check that video out. Um, but essentially, you, you, here is where you find the option to install WordPress. My WordPress is already installed, so I'm going to click on that and it will take me right to WordPress. Now, inside of WordPress, on the left-hand side, I have all of my options here and I see a plugin here called WooCommerce and also products. I see a, an option called products. Now, if you don't have WooCommerce or products here, then you might need to go to your plugin store. So plugins is down here. You can click on plugins and you want to actually go to add plugin. And then you can search for WooCommerce. And WooCommerce should be the first one here. You should see that logo saying Woo and that's how you know it's the right one. And you can install it and activate it. And once you activate it, you should then see the WooCommerce plugin here. 
Um, now WooCommerce is absolutely free for you to use. It's one that I highly recommend that you use and it normally comes within your WordPress as well. So normally you won't have to go to the plugin store to actually download it and access it. It should just be here on the left hand column. So what you can do is um, hover over the products tab once you've installed WooCommerce or if it's already there, you can go there and you can add a new product. And here you can add the details for your product. So you can add your product name. So here I'm going to put test product. You can also add any media you would like to add as well. And you can add uh, the description of your product down here. So uh, my description is this is a test description. And as you scroll down, you can see all of the different information that you can actually attribute to this product. So is it a virtual product? Um, is it a downloadable? Does it have a downloadable attributed to it? You can set your price. Um, if you're having a sale on at the moment, you can set that sales price and you can also schedule when that price, that sale will start and when that, that, um, sale will end as well. You can actually dictate how much you have in terms of your inventory. Um, so you can look at your, your SKU. Um, you can manage your stock. So ena enable stock management at product level, uh, your stock status as well. Uh, so you can make this out of stock or on back order. Um, and you can select sold individually as well. Um, you can actually choose your shipping as well. So your weight, your dimensions, your shipping class. You can have linked products as well. So you can have upsells and cross sells. You can have attributes as well. So you can have custom attributes for this particular product. And they have an advanced section as well where you can have product notes, menu orders, and uh, you can enable reviews if you want to as well, which could be great as well um, for people to you know, let other people know what their experience was like with that particular product. And then you can have a product short description as well um, down here. And you can select your product image. You can have a product gallery image as well. So if somewhere on your website, you had a gallery display in your products, then this will be the image that shows up there. Um, and you can have a multiple images there as well. Um, you can also pr uh, tag that product as well. So this could be a great way for people to find the pro different pro products on your website and also for search engines to identify the tags related to your products as well. So you're going to make want to make sure that you add that um, and you can put your products into a category as well. Now I speak a lot on this channel about organizing your website into different categories. And if you have your products organized in, into, into seamless categories, then this can really help you to kind of boost your search engine optimization and for your products to appear more visibly in the search engines. Um, so that's essentially how you add a new product. Um, you can also, you know, down here underneath the products section, you can see all of your products when you go to all products. Um, if we leave this page at the moment, there's no products there, but um, you see the test product that we created is in draft mode. So be able to see all of the products um, on your website. Um, you can also uh, categorize your products as well. So if you go to categories, then you can create new categories and here is where you can kind of organize all of the different products. So you might be selling clothes on your website. You can categorize those clothes into hats, scarves, shoes, socks. You're going to want to make sure that you do that and you can add new tags as well to your uh, products as well. And then when you go to WooCommerce, you can manage your orders. So you can go up here to orders and here is where you can kind of see purchases that have come through. You can see the order status as well. If you're using PayPal, sometimes the PayPal uh, uh, payment might be pending. So you can see the, the process of that. If you have to issue any refunds or anything like that, you can do that in the order section as well. And they also have a coupon sections as well. So you might, you know, be doing a Black Friday deal or a Christmas deal. And you can actually create coupons within this coupon section. You can also see some of your reports as well and see how well your store has been doing, uh, maybe last month, um, this month, and also the year as well. So you can see if you've had any peaks or any troughs in your sales and kind of see if you can use that to your advantage 
with regards to really boosting yourselves and making the most out of your WooCommerce store. So I will probably be doing a lot more WooCommerce tutorials. Uh, this is just to kind of get you set up and familiar with WooCommerce and with selling your products via WordPress and using Hostinger as your host. Um, if you want more advanced in-depth tutorials on how to use WordPress, how to kind of create uh, better looking product pages and how to really kind of boost your WordPress website to really generate some e-commerce sales, then do let me know in the description down below. Again, for a discount on your Hostinger package, then use Samday in the checkout. I'll also leave a link to Hostinger in the description down below. Um, but if you really wanna know how to push your sales to your e-commerce website, I highly recommend that you download the formula. This is the free guide to generating leads and sales online. A copy of it is actually behind me and I'll also leave a copy somewhere on this screen as well. But I really do hope that this video helped to get you a step closer to creating your WordPress e-commerce website to start selling your products online and if this video was helpful to you then please do click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend if you have any additional questions or comments then please do leave them for me in the comment section down below but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day download the formula and i will see you soon